Yes, Rachel. Okay, guys, that was a random intro, but this is my first update on my Batman Blu-ray collection. I plan on getting more Batman Blu-rays, so once I have, I will post them. Okay, so starting off with the Batman Anthology. This has every Batman film apart from Adam West's and uh, the Nolan films. Okay, starting with the box itself, it's a very hard cardboard. Um, has a very nice shine to it, as you can see, my reflection in the box. And, um, yeah, it's just, I'll just slide down right now. Nothing's embossed. Here's the spine, as you can see it's very thick, because it holds uh, all four in separate cases. So I'll slide down for you. As you can see we have Batman, Batman Returns, Batman Forever and Batman and Robin. Okay, so the back of the outer box you have the cases all on show on the back. Your extras, which I'll go through later. A brief line of description about the film. And your specs, which I'll once again go through later. Okay, so Batman's runtime is 126 minutes. Batman Returns is 126 minutes. Batman Forever is 121 minutes. And Batman and Robin is 125. And one thing I'll mention before I show you the case is, is uh, it, it's region free. And just quickly, here's the top of the box. And here's the bottom. Starting off with Batman from 1989 with uh, Jack Nicholson as the Joker, Michael Keaton as Batman, and Kim ba Basinger as uh, Vicky Vale, and it's directed by Tim Burton. Features the Bat logo, so I'll just slide down. Here's the spine, Blu-ray disc logo, Batman logo, Batman logo once more, and 15 certificates and a Warner Brothers logo feature. And at the bottom of the spine, it has this nice red, ready orange gradient. Okay, so here's the back. Uh, loads of specs and some features at the top. And then we've got a picture banner here. And uh, the billing block with more details. Just a single disc, disc edition. We have some nice artwork on the front with a. Uh, Explosion in the background and three main characters on the front. Okay, so the special features, you have a commentary by Tim Burton on the set with Bob Kane, the uh, maker of Batman. Uh, Legends of the Dark Knight, the history of Batman. Shadows of the Bat, the cinematic saga of the Dark Knight, parts one to three, the rest are on the other uh, films. Beyond Ma Batman, documentary gallery free prints videos so the music for the film the heroes and the villains profile galleries batman the complete robin storyboard sequence okay so it comes in 1080p high definition 6 16 by 9 uh 185 1 ratio dolby true hd english 5.1 dolby digital english 5.1 castilian spanish 2.0 french 2.0 german 2.0 italian 2.0 Brazilian Portuguese 1.0 and Latin Spanish 1.0 and your subtitles are English, Brazilian Portuguese, Complex Chinese, Danish, Dutch, Finnish, French, German, Italian, Korean, Norwegian, Portuguese, Spanish and Swedish. Okay moving on to Batman Returns. This one features Michael Keaton once again as Batman, Danny DeVito as um, Penguin and Michelle Pfeiffer as Catwoman. Side down. The Bat logo has a nice snowy texture to it, because of the film's setting, and it only features one certificate logo compared to Batman's. And here's the Batman Returns spine, similar to Batman. However, disappointingly with this one, there's no blue gradient, there's nothing, it's just black. Same layout and design as the Batman one, with another picture banner. Once again, a single disc with the three main characters on the front, and this one has a nice ice texture behind it. 
Okay, so this has another commentary by Tim Burton. The Bat, the Cat and the Penguin making off fe featurette. Shadows of the Bat Part 4. I can't read that word. And the Banshees face-to-face -face music video. That's the band that did the music. Beyond Batman documentary gallery. The Heroes and the Villains profile galleries and the theatrical trailer. And here you have the exact same specs. Okay, Batman Forever. Here we have Val Kilmer taking up Batman. Tommy Lee Jones as Two-Face. Jim Carrey as the Riddler. Nicole Kidman, whose character's name escapes me. And Chris O'Donnell as Robin. Everyone's favourite character. And here we have the Batman logo merged in with the Riddler logo. Same as the previous two. However, this time it does have a green gradient. Once again, same layout on the back with the picture banner here. Just a single disc again, but instead of three characters, you have two characters and the Batmobile. And this has the city texture behind it. Okay, so we have a commentary by Joel Schumacher. Additional scenes, riddle me this, why is Batman forever? Uh, Shadows of the Bat Part 5. Beyond Bat Documentary Gallery, Seal, Ki Seal Kiss from the Rose music video, The Heroes and the Villains Profile Galleries, and the Theatrical Trailer. And guess what? Same specs again. And finally, everyone's favourite Batman film, Batman and Robin, with Arnold Schwarzenegger as um, Mr. Freeze, George Clooney as Batman, Chris O'Donnell as Robin again, Uma Thurman as Poison Ivy, and Alicia Silverstone as Batgirl. Slide down. This time we got the Batman and Robin logo merged. And once again, same spine, and this does have a gradient. And guess what? Same again, just with the picture, banner, and all your specs and whatnot. Single disc again, with three characters in the Batmobile, and Mr. Freeze's layer kind of in the background. Your special features, a commentary by Joel Schumacher, Shadow of the Bat Part 6, additional scene, four music videos, Beyond Batman documentary gallery, the heroes and the villains profile galleries, and a theatrical trailer. Same specs. Okay, so that's the anthology set. I like the uh, digipacks I recently showed off. It's a bit loose, so be careful. But nice set, uh, nice video and audio quality, and the films are all right. They're good. they're all right. Starting off with Batman Begins. This was my first ever Blu-ray, and I got this free with my PS3. So um, I'll quickly just show you this. Here's the front. Here's the spine. Here's the back single disc with the front cover on the disc. Okay, so I'll go through the features and specs on the other Batman Begins Blu-ray because it's the same. So, um, yeah, it's a nice set. Nice audio and picture quality as I'll go through on the other one. And it's the first Blu-ray, so it's kind of special to me. So, swiftly moving on, uh, the triple play double pack edition of Batman Begins and The Dark Knight. So uh, you'll find this nice little slip thing on the front cover for The Dark Knight Rises, which I have seen, and if you haven't, I would if it's still out. It's a great film. So that comes off nice and easily, throw that to one side. And here you have the front. I don't know why The Dark Knight's on the left and The Batman Begins is on the right. But oh well. Also, like the Anthology Edition, it's a very hard cardboard. This is the box alone. And here's the spine. A lot simpler to the Batman Anthology one. Here's the back of the box. Top sections for Batman Begins. This section's for the Dark Knight. And then there's a uni uh, sorry, ultraviolet banner thing. And some details. There's the top, and here's the bottom, just plain. And this set is region free. 
Batman Begins is 140 minutes, and The Dark Knight is 153. Okay, starting off with Batman Begins, it's the same cover and everything, as you can see, to the single disc one I showed you off earlier, but this is a triple play. The Blu-ray disc is the exact same as the uh, single disc edition, but if you turn this over, you'll find your DVD. Okay, so the special features, you have a Christopher Nolan and David S. Goya uh, backstories as you watch the film. Dark Knight IMAX Prologue, The Tank Man Begins, which is a spoof, Batman The Journey Begins, Shape in Mind and Body, Gotham City Rises, uh, Cape and Cowl, Batman The Tumbler, Path to Discovery, Saving Gotham City, Genesis of the Bat, Reflections on Writing Batman Begins, Digital Batman, and Batman Begins Star. Okay, so that was the Batman Begins triple play. So, moving on to The Dark Knight. Here's the front cover. The cover, as you may be able to tell if you have the edition, is the same as the DVD. Here's the spine, similar design as the Batman Begins one. And here's the back with the interrogation scene. Details about the film, a couple of reviews, special features, ultraviolet, and more details. Once you open it up, you'll find your two digital copies for both films, see Dark Knight and Batman Begins. Put that to one side. You have your first Blu-ray disc, second Blu-ray disc, and the DVD, which once again is the same as the DVD edition. Okay, so the special features, Gotham Uncovered, a creation of a scene, Unmasked, the incredible detail and planning behind the film, Filming in IMAX, Batman Tech, Batman Unmasked, uh, Gotham Tonight, which has six episodes of a fake news uh, report for Gotham, and The Galleries. Okay guys, so that was my first update of my Batman collection, hopefully there'll be more soon. Hope you enjoyed it and see you all next time.